It's Katie's floorboards. Katie's floorboard and floor. Never smelled our floor. Not Katie. <laughs> Not Katie's specific floorboards. Oh, is that is that a brand of floor? No, Katie always says she smells floorboards. So I'm like, she's influenced me with her floorboard smell, and <laughs> not her own floorboards. <laughs> she just got a boozy house. <laughs> well, that's true. Floor, floor <laughs> smell like whiskey. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. Um, we're doing a comparison, or not really a comparison, because you can't really compare these three. It's an exciting three though. It's I'm... an exciting three. We're always excited, but these are we particularly. Are. Yeah. Um, so over a year ago now, I went down to Campbelltown and I picked up three of their little um, in-shop cask fill your own mm -hmm. samples. Mm -hmm. um, and I picked up a Hazelburn, a... Uh, Spring bank and a long row. Nice, 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 and nice. And so I thought I'd bring some back for Rachel for a year down the line. Thank you. Thank you. A year ago, Jen. Thank you. It takes us a while to get to these samples. We do have lots of samples to make our way through. Not we complaining. Do. Not complaining. So shall we start with the Hazelburn? Yes, great. So and all of these whiskies, they're all non-age statements, aren't they? Non-age statement. I think they actually possibly top them up as they go, so I think they might always be changing. Which I quite like that so as I well. So I think it's seems. kind of like almost like a it's probably not like a living cask thing, but it's probably like a well, like canister inside a cask, but it's just yeah. always add, it's like a like an infinity cask, if you like. Maybe I would which think. Which is cool. Which is cool. And so when you went, it was during COVID times. It was as during well. COVID times, so you couldn't fill them yourself. They filmed them for you. Filled, filmed them filled. for you. But I just got little twenty cls of each. Um, so it was on the twenty third of June last year. <laughs> it's taken us this long to try it, uh, but this is the Hazelburn. Um, and so the Hazelburn is triple distilled and unpeated. Great. And that's um, cast strength, that one as it well? It is cast strength of 58.6. Okay, cool. Um, so... So triple distilled usually means lighter whiskey, doesn't it? Yes. Or more woody sometimes. Do more you woody sometimes because what they think they, what they say is that they distill it to a higher percentage. So it's more impurities removed, mm -hmm. um, but then when they're putting it into the cask, it can interact better with the wood of the cask. Yep. So yep. lighter spirit, but more wood influence maybe. Yep. Um, but Hazelburn is actually not fully three times to still because they've only got two stills. Mm -hmm. So they just take part of it and redistill part of it. So it's oh. actually 2.81 times to still. Wow, think. cool. So specific. Quite Great. specific. Yeah. Um, and... I've not tried that many Hazelburns actually. No, we were just saying that. I'm really not. It's known as like a really like peachy, syrupy, fruity whiskey. Okay. So light on the so nose. So light. So light and kind of definitely peach. Peach and lemon. Lemon, quite a wee bit floral. Mhm. Mm um, wee bit creamy. Yeah. It kind uh, of, it even looks quite viscous. Yeah, quite yeah. Quite syrupy. Like white peach, like white peach and syrup. Yeah. Little bit grapey. Like the flat peaches, sorry, that's the... Flat peaches, no, flat about. peaches and, and a, bit a little bit white grape, like yeah, green grapes. Yeah, definitely. And it's quite light, so presumably it's mostly refill cast. Yeah, I think so, I think so. So more spirit influence on this one, probably. And probably the least popular jam from Hazel, from Hazelburn, from Springbank, I would I imagine, so, of yeah, the three. yeah. We, Springbank being the most popular. Yeah, and we never, we don't, like, we get small allocations of these things and they go straight to customers. We don't oh, ever Oh, yeah, we don't ever get to try them. We do. Uh, sometimes people open them sometimes they do. and That's give us a sample. very kind. So nice. Love it when they do that. Um, Should we try it? Slange. Slange. Mmm. -hmm. Syrupy lemonade. Oh, I forget that's cast strength mm, as well. I know. Yep. As the burn hits after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... Wow, it's light and floral and creamy and mm -hmm. lemony. I think that's a nice light whiskey for someone who knows whiskey, though. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. There's lots in that. Yeah. But it is light. We marzipan hint, actually. Mmm. Marzipan and... Well, there's definitely something. Cream. Creamy. It is creamy. Cream soda. Mmm. Fizzy. Cream a soda. Fizzy. Pears. Wet paper towels. Wet paper towels. Wet paper towels. The taste or the smell? The smell just, not the taste at all. Definitely. Definitely. Where has that come from? Complete wet, wet paper towels, uh -huh. yeah. Like being in primary school. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Got yeah. a bit of water. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. It doesn't taste like that at all. It is so peachy, no, syrupy, like lemony. Sweet lemony, though not like not like um It's so wet paper towels. It is what is it I've only never, smell like a wet paper towels? Never shook to wet paper towels, so I can't I don't know if that's what no. it doesn't <laughs> taste like that, I presume. Oh it's nice that that's a good like if you want like a mm. like a light whiskey but to really taste the spirit rather than the cask. That Shall we move on to the spring bank, the most the most popular. The most popular. So also cast strength this one so, as well. But yeah, before you Smell say anything, anything. what do, what are your what do you normally this is fifty seven point six. Uh, what do you normally think of a spring bank? Is I do your, like a spring bank, but I feel a wee bit like maybe I've not tried enough spring banks to get into it to understand what the big hullabaloo is, to be honest. I don't come for just, me, please don't come for yeah. me. <laughs> please don't come for me. I'm not She's saying leaving it's bad. It for everyone else. I'm not saying it's bad. We have people who queue from six in the morning outside. So, yeah. I wonder if some of them are doing that for a financial gain as opposed to because it's delicious whiskey. But regardless, so I, yeah, I've just not quite got it. I've not quite got. What but you might just not. It might just not be your cup of tea because yeah. they are at Springbank. I think is unusual and it definitely has like an, a funk to it. It's the funky weird flavors. Yes, which I love. Yeah. Because yeah. I like I like like a Hamden rum and that yeah, kind of yeah. like weird weird things that you shouldn't taste in a drink. Yeah, which I like sometimes, but it's n not always my favourite to be and honest. And Springbank definitely has like a got a bit of that funky farmy farm farm farmy yes. farmy, and I'm getting woody, woody, not sweet. Um, no, but not savoury. Um, it's quite light in the smell as well. Yeah, I was yeah, expecting, I was expecting more. more. It is quite strong though. We might get more when we put water in. Um, I think it's refill cast too. I think yeah, it's very much so. like the spirit of Springbank rather than mm -hmm. a casty mm -hmm. thing. Sponge. Mmm. Mmm. Quite caramelly. Farmy. So I'm not getting farmy. Oh, I'm getting farmy. Yeah, farmy on the aftertaste. Farmy. Farmy yep. on the finish. Farmy funky. I'm not finding all that much in that one actually. We For a spring bank. No. I would never, if you gave me that blind, I would never have said that was a spring bank. Mmm. Mmm. I say. Mmm. I'm getting that wee edge now. It's got a wee sharp edge. Wee peaty bit and stuff. It is, mm. it's, it's, it's love, it is lovely. Oh. That's, oh, that is much deeper with the water. Really much more farmy. A bit like a muddy puddle. Yeah, I can so get that. It's like a big muddy puddle. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god, yeah. Or like clay. Mmm. Clay. Definitely clay. And when you add the, it gets more bitter with water. And a bit mm. more, a longer finish, a bit more perfumey. Mm. Mm -hmm. And a bit sweeter maybe. A bit more with water. More, with, more definitely water. more with water. It's longer lasting now. And I can see how that is like, it's quite a refined and cool, interesting thing of what it is, if that makes sense. Like I, I can mm. totally appreciate that. I don't know if I would know that that's what that was, still blind. I don't think I'd guess it was Springbank. I'm not I'd... hugely familiar with Springbank mm. spirit, to be honest. Um, I know though. I'm as familiar as I can be in this day and age. Hard, it's, hard, yeah. it's so hard to get. It's so hard to get. I can taste the similarities between that and the older one we had to an extent. It's still got that farmy, mm. slightly peaty mm. funk that's a bit unusual. Slightly metallic? Slightly, yeah, definitely mm. metallic. Smell that as well. Right, should we try the long roll? So heavily peated this okay. time. Still cask strength again. Uh, this one is fifty nine point one. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, that one smells lovely. That's my favourite smell so far. Oh, it's the darkest. So I'm wondering if that's maybe either probably slightly older or I'm thinking maybe more not refill casks. Yeah, like maybe more bourbon cask. Chocolate and coffee. Oh my goodness! Really, chocolate coffee. That's almost like an old single grain. Yeah, that I the smell of that's a lot more rich for me. Oh, there's something quite um not overly peaty either. Coconut. More, yeah, yeah. You're coconut yeah. in that as well. Sweet, sweet and rounded, not overly peated at all, though like 
coconut milk though, not coconut, yeah. not desiccated coconut. Like creamy. Coconut, creamy coconut milk, yeah. Yeah, it smells a bit like the Arcadian Moon coffee liqueur. Yes! There's a lovely Ooh. coffee liqueur. Or, uh, um, Dear, Dear Nest, Nest Distillery, you, yeah. Make. And Orkney, it smells a bit like that. Oh, yeah, coffee, and it's there's so something coffee. quite hearty about that as well. Like Yeah. Oh, I love the sm That's my favourite of the smells oh, so far. And it doesn't smell overly peaty. Do you think that's... I no, think it's quite light. no, I think that's quite... The peat is quite light. Yes, it's not a light smell. No, the peat is quite light. Uh, oh, I love that. try that. Slange. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's my favourite by far. Yep. That's same. delicious. Wow, that keeps going. Mmm. Mmm, smooth caramel. Caramel. Chocolate. Chocolate. Coffee. Chocolate covered coffee, coffee beans. Mm -hmm. Dipped in caramel. The coffee comes in after. And then, like, a wee bit of dried raspberry. That's so chocolatey. I'm finding it more like a forest now that it's, I've added water. Oh, like a, like a pine forest in the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or the bark on the, under the swings when you were wee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is probably the same thing. <laughs> and the taste is not, oh no, a slightly different flavour. It smells and those. The taste is not as nice with the water. I prefer this, no, I prefer it without water. Yeah, it was more creamy. Yeah, definitely. More intense. That's more woody now. It's gotten more peaty, I think, as well. Yep. Is deeper. It feels like the the peat that you may dig from underneath a pine forest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may. You, you may, may not. You may. Or you may. <laughs> well, I mean, because I don't think there's that. I mean, maybe somewhere, but there's probably not that much peat underneath a pine forest, is there? You'd have to ask a geologist. I'm afraid. I don't know. I know. I don't know. Um, or a forester. Or a forester. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's what's... something else about that, though. That's got the tarmac in the rain bit as well. It's got yeah. a lot more like earthy and groundy. Groundy. Like the ground. Grun. Favourite. Number three. Long road. Number three. Which we'd seldom agree. That rhymed. So it must be true. Oh! <laughs> We're a poet and we don't know it. I was trying to think of something around with true, but all I can no, think was poo. That's <laughs> not. Long road's my favourite. Yep. Long road's my favourite. Second, Hazel Burn. Even going back to them. Yep. Springbank. It's still lovely, but my least favourite. Yeah, same. No, it's still lovely. None of them are yeah. turn to be. That all. was good. It was worth bringing them and yes, worth waiting a year much. for them. Yes, <laughs> yes. Fell up to it. Thank you, Jane. Any other samples, we'll try and get there quicker. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Um, comment on what you think about Springbank, Long Row and Hazelburn. What do you think about the hype? Do you agree with it? Or have you been able to get any since yeah. the hype started? Or and Which one is your favourite If you've of, of all the ones you've tried? Which one is your favourite? And do you care? Or do you have you just moved off to a different distillery because yep. you can't be bothered with the stress? Yep. So yeah, let us know. And join us again next time. Slange! Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange! It's got it's lightly peated, it's got a kind of salty tang, and it has that funk to it. It's got a weird bit right through the middle. It's a weird kind of... Oh! 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 I like that. Oh, we ride. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll cut that somewhere. <laughs>